You are so correct. Years ago, after we played our game in Washington, D.C., this has gone on for over 100 years, gentlemen. The thing that we did, we took a traveling team of Republicans and Democrats working and playing together, going and playing teams around the country. So that would be a great uh, that would be a great unifier, I think. Sports is incredible. We had the congressional football game last night, uh, and uh, things were uh, uh, moving very rapidly. But uh, thank you for your commitment to sports. Well, uh, Congressman, I want to uh, pick up with you now and uh, just give us the latest. Uh, uh, what are what are you hearing there in Washington? Obviously, the entire nation now focused on uh, twelve or one a.m. Uh, Sunday morning. Understandably. Well, Steve, four months, and I have to emphasize months, as Tennessee's appropriator in the House and the chairman, if you will, the cardinal of the Energy and Water Subcommittee, uh, House Republicans have been working very hard on appropriation bills and and working toward uh, funding the government. I am in the camp that wants to keep the government open. We do not want to have a government shutdown. I know we're getting some calls from constituents who say, well, just shut it down. That is a disaster, and it ultimately costs more money, and it will ultimately reopen. But uh, I have worked. I've been on the floor till uh, 2 o'clock Monday. Uh, I'm sorry, Tuesday morning, midnight, the last couple of nights, working hard on trying to get some consensus. In a nutshell, we are not in a good place right now. The House, the Senate, and the White House, all three groups, will have to come to an agreement, and we are not there yet. All three have very different views. Uh, my party, our party, controls the House, the Republicans, the Democrats control the Senate, and the White House. That obviously is a dynamic, not a good dynamic for, for us in the negotiation process, but uh, we're going to have to just stay here and continue to work through this. Uh, I am committed, Steve, to staying here, working day and night, as I have for months, to get this done for the people of not only Bradley County and the 3rd District of Tennessee, but really for the American people, sir. We're joined by uh, Congressman Chuck Fleischman. You know, uh, Congressman, uh, there has been talk, uh, especially as you, you mentioned, uh, one or, or we've heard about one wing, we should say, I guess, of the uh, Republican Party there in Congress, about possibly ousting the Speaker of the House, Kevin McCarthy. I know we had uh, Congressman Tim Burchett on from Knoxville yesterday. Uh, he is uh, saying he would be for that instead of uh, passing any kind of spending bill, as he said, with the Democrats. Where is that this morning? What do you think is going to happen there? Well, this is what I think will happen today. In the Republican-controlled House, we will have a continuing resolution bill up. I will be voting for that bill. That bill will not be taken by the Senate or the White House. That will not be the bill that will be passed. But it is a responsible bill. It's got border security. It cuts spending. Um, and it does a lot of things. It creates a commission to deal with the long-term spending crisis that we all face in this country. And whether you're a Republican like me, a Democrat, or an Independent, we have got to have that that, that conversation with the American people. You have no idea, Steve, how many conversations I have with members of my own party that don't know where we're spending the money, okay, as, as a federal budget. Hence, their conclusions and their solutions are, are partial. So we've got to get the truth out to the American people. Having said that, uh, we will have a vote today. I do not know if that vote will pass. Sadly, uh, I will say this sadly, I think we are probably headed for a government shutdown. I've done everything in my power and will continue, continue to work towards keeping the government open. But it does not look good right now. Again, the dynamics are the Republican House, the Democratic Senate, and the Democratic White House with bona fide differences. The Senate actually has a bill out there. Uh, I wish they had sent us a clean continuing resolution for about a month, month and a half. They put some additional things on there that are just going to drive Republican votes away from it in the House. That is a problem. Uh, Speaker McCarthy, candidly, has been doing everything possible uh, to try to keep the government open, to try to work with uh, our Republican moderates, our Republican center-right people, such as myself. I'm in the 
the Republican study group, so I'm in the center-right group, and then our, our friends in the Freedom Caucus, so the, the, the further-right group. So we've got three groups, literally, that the Speaker is trying to work with, with literally a four-vote majority and some members out. Uh, bear this in mind. We had one member have a bull fall on him and hurt him. He just got back. Steve Scalise has been in cancer treatment. Uh, the man's incredible. He goes to MD Anderson, gets his treatment, and comes back and votes. We lost a member to retirement. So those margins, Steve, are razor thin, and our constituents have to understand the dynamics of, of that. But I will be here working constantly to get things done. Plus, if I may, the energy and water bill for the House, which I wrote as the chairman, is a very, very good bill. That has yet to be passed on the House floor. We have passed some bills um, on appropriations already. We're joined by uh, Congressman uh, Chuck Fleischman live from Washington. As, uh, as you hear uh, and see uh, that uh, Congress is working to avoid this shutout or uh, shutdown, uh, which uh, the, the, the clock is ticking. What, uh, you know, obviously, uh, uh, Congressman, uh, people listening here in Southeast Tennessee uh, are watching us. Um, what would it mean to them? Let's say the government does shut down. What does that mean in, in, in layman's or practical terms? Or people, for instance, like Tim Morgan, who really can't understand anything. You're welcome. Oh. Well, <laughs> candidly, uh, this will be the fourth government shutdown in 13 years if it happens that we have been through. One, sadly, was 28 days. Uh, one was only like two days. So the length and duration of the government shutdown will certainly affect uh, the, its its magnitude. For example, if if it were to shut down for a day or two, not much. If it shuts down for a week or two, literally, literally, uh, the troops don't get paid. Veterans' benefits are at risk. And here's the thing that we've got to stress: I don't like it. I don't like the fact that Joe Biden is in the White House. I don't uh, support his policies. But the White House, the administration, will control then where the limited funds will be spent. So they can target cuts to hurt Republicans. They can target cuts to hurt things that they don't support and to put money where they do support it. So a government shutdown is not only costly because the government will reopen. Guess what? When it reopens, all of those people who were furloughed will be paid in full. Um, it's, it's, it's a terrible situation to go through. It does not resolve anything. What we need to do as responsible legislators is keep the government open while we're working towards fiscally responsible solutions. And that's been what I, what I have been shouting from the mountaintops to my conference, to people on the other side of the aisle, to our friends in the Senate, and even to the administration. So I'm, I've, uh, I'm of that mindset. Work hard to keep it open. Let's get fiscally much more responsible. But let's talk to the American people about where we're really spending the money. And and that's what this bill today does that's on the floor. That's what I'm going to be supporting it, is it's going to create a commission that will basically have its recommendations take effect in the next Congress so it doesn't get unduly politicized. We're going into a huge election cycle, a national election cycle, Steve, and, and politicians, understandably, are afraid to tackle the tough issues. Well, the tough issues have come home to roost. I'm not afraid to tackle them. I'm not afraid to be honest with my constituents because they know I'm going to stay up here and do the best job and represent the values of the great people of the 3rd District of Tennessee. Congressman uh, Chuck Fleischman, live from Washington. Uh, Congressman, I, I know you're extremely busy. I really appreciate uh, you taking the time out. Uh, to speak with us here this morning. Yes, sir. Well, Steve, thank you for what you do. Uh, to all of our friends, please continue to pray for our country. We've got the greatest country in the world. We have got to come together and work through these difficult times. But, Steve, we can do it, and we will do it. And God bless you all. All right, Congressman uh, Chuck Fleischman, uh, thank you very much. We really appreciate it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Live from Washington, uh, Congressman Fleischman, I do want to make a, I'm going to bring uh, Tim Morgan and Brant Donlin back in. Uh, they remind me right now of the old men on the